Now, New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. It is one of the most anticipated holiday festivals in New York City in just over an hour. Winter's Eve kicks off in Lincoln Square. Forget about the blah weather right, right now. The event <laughs> starts with a tree lighting at Dante Park at 5.30. Then the streets and sidewalks are filled with food, tastings, live performance, and characters of all kinds. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon live in Columbus Circle with one of the characters who will be there tonight. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> Hey, Dave, doesn't it look like Winter's Eve? Yes, we're at the shops at Columbus Circle, and look who's joining me. Princess Schneeflacken. Oh, hi, Sandy. We are just getting started. <laughs> What's the jazz? You just give me a plenty oh, of jazz. Oh, my goodness. Well, it is snowing inside. It is snowing outside. It is Winter's Eve for sure. <laughs> we are here at the shops at Columbus Circle, and there's going to be some Broadway shows coming up. you got to check that out. Oh, and there's so much good food. Uh, oh, I have... What are you eating, Princess? What does a princess eat? Oh, she eats just about anything. I'll <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> oh, I love a good holly berry this time of year, and all of the food trucks that are lining Broadway right now for one to five dollars. You can sample all sorts of things. So come on out and fill up your belly with all this goodness. <laughs> now we're inside yeah. where it's very warm. But outside, there's a big tree light. What goes on just a few blocks from here? I am so excited. Well, thank you so much to the Lincoln Square bid for getting ready to light this tree. It is just magical. Oh, it just tickles my tinsel to no end. <laughs> and a reminder, you can watch that tree lighting during Eyewitness News at 5. Is the special joy here seeing the faces on the children? Oh, yes. The children and the adults alike. There is something here for absolutely everybody. Bring the whole family on. On out. I did bring the snow. Let's not let it go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Princess Schneeflocken, and there's a Z in Princess. <laughs> Reminder tree lighting during Eyewitness News at 5. That's it from here. Reporting live from the shops at Columbus Circle. Oh, Sandy she, Kenyon, she, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Back to you, David Liz. She completely warmed up the Upper West Side with oh, her energy. Oh, she did. <laughs> Positivity. No <laughs> doubt about that. <laughs> Right. Kids are going to love seeing her later on. Okay, Sandy, thank you. Well, as we've been telling you, the Winter's Eve festivities are kicking off tonight here on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Besides singing, dancing, and the big tree lighting, there's also a lot of great food. I would News reporter Lauren Glassberg has a look at some of the restaurants cooking up small bites for the celebration. Joanne Trattoria joining the dozens of restaurants taking part in this year's Winter's Eve Festival. They're serving up arancini and meatballs, two for two dollars. The restaurant has some deep celebrity connections. So we're actually owned by Joe and Cynthia Germanata, who happen to be Lady Gaga's parents. They like to take care of each other as a family unit, and they've really, it really instituted that here as well. Things are more theatrical at Lincoln Center Kitchen, but you don't have to take in a show to dine here. Chef Justin Rowe will serve up his lobster bit. Bisque also means twice cooked, so we make a stock first with the lobsters, and then we re-fortify it again with cooked shells, roasted, and then we puree it and strain it. The result is a velvety, intense lobster bisque. Wow. At Barbalu, the onion soup is equally as decadent. Chef Dieter Salmon melts several layers of Gruyere on top, and if that doesn't warm you up, the cassoulet will. It's kind of a, beef, a bean stew, all kind of different meats, like a sausage, a duck leg, Bacon. The saving grace is that portions will be smaller at the festival, which means you may have room for savory items like borecas and focaccia at Bread's Bakery. And for the sweet tooth. So we have our classic chocolate rugula, which is like a smaller form of our uh, chocolate babka, which is what we're most known for. It's fun to be out and uh, have people trying our products. It's a great experience. The food portion of this festival starts at 5 30, and you can nibble your way through the neighborhood until 8 30 tonight. Portions cost between one and four dollars. On the Upper West Side, Lauren Glassberg, Channel Seven, Eyewitness News. Oh my goodness, that food looks mm. so good. Uh, Winter's Eve happens along Broadway in the Lincoln Square area tonight, from Columbus Circle to 66th Street. You can watch the tree lighting and much of the festivities coming up on Eyewitness News at five. I want to take you back to Winter's Eve, and tonight our very own meteorologist Amy Freeze will help light the tree in Lincoln Square. Yes, yeah, she is live in Dante Park in the Upper West Side with the preview. Amy. You guys, this is always a thrill. Of course, neighborhoods across all five boroughs will have their own holiday festivals and the flipping of the switch, but this one happening right here in our backyard, Lincoln Square. It's the 20th annual Winter's Eve. It's from Columbus Circle all the way up to 70th Street, and it's the largest winter. 
winter festival in all of New York City. It's pretty exciting. About 25,000 people make it onto the streets. 100 businesses or so participate, and we have about 30 restaurants this year, so you can kind of get some taste testing in. It's a free event. I think there are some small charges for some of the events along the way, but it sure is a lot of fun to come and try out. By the way, the tree this year that will be lighting here live on the news is from Bliss, New York. So a tree very close to uh, right here, our own neighborhood, and we're really excited. It's all kicking off during the 5 o'clock hour. We're flipping the switch right around 5.55. That'll happen live, of course, on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. And there's a lot of entertainment along the way, too. Uh, Ronnie Spector from the Ronettes will be taking the stage. There's always a lot of local dignitaries. And this year, our very own Michelle Charlesworth will be over here with me. So Eyewitness News anchor on the scene as we do the honors this year for the annual tree lighting. Really a great event for everyone to come out. There's activities for the whole family across the whole neighborhood. And I'm wearing tonight my magic gloves. I have not been able to train these gloves to stop the snow. However, they will be able to flip the switch and get the tree lit <laughs> for us a little bit later on. Dave Liz, back to you guys. Awesome job, Danny. Thanks a lot. Very <laughs> can't dampen the spirit exactly. You can go out and enjoy the food. And as Lee was talking about, it's all about the bands. <laughs> exactly right. And listen, those magic gloves are working because right now, I mean, the snow's, the snow's at a lower intensity right over the west side Good. here and over parts okay. of the area. Yeah. So if this is definitely a fluid situation, and I'm making, I'm massaging that snowfall map each time I'm looking at the radar and the trends that are coming in. So let's pass along the latest information. It might look like winter, but we're calling it Winter's Eve on the Upper West Side of Manhattan as we are counting down to the big Lincoln Square tree light. We're thrilled to welcome our man. Rain, sleet, and snow cannot in any way stop a two decade tradition on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. No way can it. Well, tonight is the 20th annual Winter's Eve celebration, a night filled with holiday fun, few food, and music. And That's speaking of music, I'm going to be there to introduce at 7 o'clock a concert, entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon. There now, speaking with the stars of tonight's show, he's live in Columbus Circle. Sandy. <laughs> Hello, Bill and Sade. It's looking a lot like Winter's Eve here at the shops at Columbus Circle. Now, over to my left, as Freddie's going to pan, is some Broadway entertainment courtesy of the cast of Beetlejuice. Yes, Winter's Eve has surely begun inside and outside. For two decades now, Winter's Eve has marked the start of the holiday season on the Upper West Side. It's cold, so it's always good to find those things that bring people together, bring New Yorkers together. This year's MC, Juwan Jackson, is a native of Detroit who brings the Motown sound to Broadway for eight shows a week. As one of the stars of Ain't Too Proud, Jackson is immersed in the hits of the 1960s. And that makes him the ideal person to introduce this year's featured performer, Ronnie Spector, during Winter's Eve at Lincoln Square. And I know she's going to light up the stage. I know she is. She soared to fame as a member of the Ronettes in the early 60s. The Beatles were fans. The Rolling Stones were her opening act. Everybody going crazy. Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys wrote this song for her. For the baby born Veronica Bennett, it all started at PS 152 in Harlem. I would do my homework, then I'd sing it to the class, my homework, and the kids loved it. It was here, in the lobby of her grandmother's building on 140th Street, that she first realized the power of her remarkable voice. Harmonizing just like this with her sister and her cousin led all three of them to the top of the charts and a spot in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Everybody needs to hear a voice. It's going to be a great time. You are listening to the cast of Beetlejuice. We are at the shops at Columbus Circle, and it is Winter's Eve. Almost time to light the Christmas tree. That will be between 5.30 and 6. Bill and Sade vitally involved, but sure is fun doing this from here with Broadway music, kids sitting enthralled. No, no question. Yeah, you've got a front row seat. Uh, from the shops at Columbus. That's right. Yes, I'm just saying you have a front row seat to it all.
just a minute. And Ronnie Spector, it doesn't get better than that. Sandy Kenyon, thank you, Sandy. Uh, and a reminder, right before 6 o'clock, on this broadcast, our Amy Freeze will be live from Dante Park for the Winter's Eve tree lighting. And it is going to be lit up. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be nice. Awesome. Ready to light the tree at the tw yeah. Winter's Eve celebration in Lincoln Square. Our Amy Freeze live in Dante Park to kick off the countdown. Take it away, Amy. <laughs> Well, we're right here waiting to count down. There's a huge crowd of more than 20,000 here in Lincoln Square. We've got the dignitaries across the stage. Our very own Michelle Charlesworth 20. is here. I'm here with Ronnie Spector from the Ronettes and a full crowd, Monica yeah! Bloom, and all the local politicians. We're ready to count it down. Here we go, folks. Are you ready? 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one happy holidays everyone and it's lit from bliss new york let the holidays begin you guys right here in our own neighborhood our eyewitness news is found and of course with the backdrop of the snow it's a perfect setting tonight back to you it is the perfect setting, so get on out. Amy, thank you. Well, the fun continues until 9 o'clock tonight with festivities, food, and more from the shops at Columbus Circle all the way up to 70th Street. And you can find out more information at ABC7NY. And there is still much more news ahead. Eyewitness News at 6 begins right now. Four, three, two, one. Happy holidays, everyone. And just like that, the Winter's Eve tree has been lit in Lincoln Square, the tree lighting ceremony, just a few moments ago at Dante Park. You saw it here. Well, I would assume it's at five right now, the street and sidewalks filled with people enjoying live performances and, of course, eating a lot of food and not getting snowed on, at least for the moment. We lucked out. Great news. You know, you were talking about the bands, and we had a little bit of a lull. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. You know, everybody, bands have been, you know, <laughs> but it, it, it is the truth. This is not so your classic setup that we're trying to get all the snow from. Yeah. 